Member. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. I, I wish uh, th that I could have followed, and I, I tried, uh, the Minister's explanation of how a product can be listed. The system, as I understand it, is this. If I am a brewer of a small craft beer, uh, I need to apply to the LDB to have my product listed in a catalog that would be available for any government store in the product to order from. And the problem is that they're not getting listed in the catalog. And if you're not listed in the catalog, then your local store can't order the product. They can only order products that are listed in the LDB catalog. And when I read, and the minister talked about section 15, which is being repealed, and section 24, which is a consequential amendment about the listing committee, I thought, great. They're getting rid of the listing committee because every brewer that qualifies will be able to have their product listed in the catalog and will be able to order, be ordered equally by government stores, private stores, restaurants, and so on. Can the minister clarify for me whether this understanding of how the system works is correct, and if so, um, how these amendments relate to that, if at all. What, the listing committee seems pretty self-explanatory, and, and I'm, I'm missing something here. A, um, a manufacturer of a product, a, a brewery, can apply to the liquor distribution branch to be registered in the catalog, uh, and then the um, and then they would wish to be listed in the store. So it's two separate decisions. One is to be registered so that they're available for anyone in British Columbia to pick up. The listing is uh, whether or not they're actually going to be sold in a government liquor store. Then then they are listed for the stores. Um, as I said earlier, this is a question of consumer demand and of sales. And there's no question that the local stores will support local products because there is local demand for those products. And so if there's a particular uh, brewery that is near a store and, and there's customer demand there, first of all, the product is likely going to be registered. To be sold at all, it needs to be registered. Will it be listed so that it can be sold in those particular stores? Yes, but that's, a, again, an arrangement between the salespeople of the brewery and the, and the liquor distribution branch and the demand for the product in those particular stores. Member. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And I can, I can tell the minister that craft brewers know that they're local, Government store manager wants to order the product, wants to bring it in, wants to support the local business, but because it's not listed at the LDB, they are unable to do that, and it is endlessly frustrating because there is one staff member at the LDB that does the SKUs, and she is hugely backlogged. And one of the requirements of craft brewers is that you have to be able to supply the entire province. They don't even want to supply the entire province. They want to supply one local store I'll, I'll leave it at that, uh, uh, Mr. Chair, and invite the minister. She has some uh, response to that, but, but a fundamental misunderstanding of the frustrations of craft brewers, brewers of getting SKUs at government stores to sell to their local store is behind this section, and, uh, and I'm disappointed that we can't address it. Um, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, I'm ready to move on to the next section. Mr. I'll just uh, make one comment, which is the comment on having to supply the entire province. That's not correct. 
they do need to be able to supply the stores that they are proposing to go into, but they don't need to have product for the entire province. There are products that are local and that are sold only local in certain local areas.